Welcome to Mighty Success Blueprint. My name is Nicholas Mighty and in this video I'm going to share with you five ways in which you can become more productive. These five ways will help you to increase your productivity up to 200%. Hey, and if you haven't subscribed to this channel, subscribe even right now. On this channel, I produce great content on how you can become the very best version of yourself, how you can achieve more, right? Get more out of your life. But above all, how you can actually grow and scale your online business, right? So let's jump right into productivity, right? So, uh, Achieving productivity is quite easy, right? Getting more productive is very easy. If you don't go over yourself, right? Most of these things are as simple as just listening to yourself, right? If your body is tired, you know, that says something. If it gets tired early, maybe you only spend about six hours and you feel a little bit tired. Hey, instead of overriding your body, right? And instead of enforcing and forcing kind of Listen to your body, right? Listen to your body. We've been made in such a way um, that actually is very easy, right? Your body speaks to you and your work is to listen, right? Anyways, going to productivity, most of these things you will see and get to understand that they're very easy, very easy. You can produce much more out of your day, get much more out of your day and in a shorter time by doing these five things that I'm going to share with you. And number one is plan your day the night before, right? Or the evening before, right? So if you want to get more done today, the idea is you should have planned the day before, right? Plan your day previously or um, the evening before. And I'll tell you what this does for you. When you go to rest, there is somehow a way that your mind works, right? It's like your subconscious mind goes to work, right? So before you wake up, your mind is actually gone to work. And it's, you know, things are being done. And your ideas, so when you wake up, you will have a few ideas on exactly what you wanted to do. Maybe something will spark uh, in your mind about, you know, the work that you put down to do, right? And that's very, very important. So it's it will never be as if you're starting from scratch when you start your day planned previously. I mean, pre-planned, if you know what I mean, right? So that's very, very important. As simple as that might sound, most people don't do it. And that's where the problem is, right? So sometimes people think, well, I'll plan in the morning. It doesn't matter anyway. Well, it does really matter. Point number two is reduce the items on your hit list, right? And that's on your to-do list. I call it my hit list, right? I call it a hit list and reason is um, basically it's a hit list, right? Like mafia hitman, right? So that's ridiculous. But anyways, reduce the items on your to-do list. And many times when you plan in the morning, sometimes you get unrealistic. It used to happen to me. And I feel like I have a lot of energy and I undermine the tasks and I just put them on and on and on and on. Before long, I've got 10 tasks and I claim that they all have to be done. And I'll tell you what, that damages, first of all, your self-esteem because you're not going to get them all done and you will feel like, you know, I'm one person who never gets them done anyway, right? So if you build up that habit of leaving tasks undone, it hurts your self-confidence, right? And eventually doesn't serve you, right? So one way to surely help yourself get more things done is by putting less. What would that help you to do? To achieve focus. And focus is very, very important. If you're able to stay on one task with one task until it is finished fully, then you will, my friend, have achieved so much more than somebody who flew through every task and did it, right? So very, very important. So the third way to increase your productivity is by doing the heavy lifting first, right? Do the most important tasks or the heaviest tasks first. Brian Tracy called this um, Eat That Frog in one of his books, productivity books, right? So that's very, very important. Do the heaviest tasks first. I'll tell you what that does. It helps you, first of all, to finish that task, right? Because it's the heaviest, it's the ugliest. So once you get it done, 
The other nice and easy ones are easy to get done anyway, right? So when you start with a heavy task or the most difficult task or the task with the most ramifications, right, consequences, if you will, it helps you because now you're able to actually, um, you know, finish off the rest of the smaller ones because you started with the heaviest. But if you start with the smaller ones, you will never have room enough to tackle the small tasks and get them done. So that's very, very important. And if you do that, my friend, there is no amount of work that you will never finish, right? You will be able to finish your tasks quite easily because you started off with the heaviest first. And that's very, very important. But as simple as that might sound, most people don't do it because it's easy to do that easy stuff first. So point number four is eliminate distractions, right? And I'm going to tell you a unique way in which you can actually eliminate distractions, right? So um, eliminating distractions by avoiding them will not help you, right? And what type of distractions anyway am I talking about? I'm talking about things like using your phone, things like watching, you know, um, a little bit of... Um, you know, maybe a movie, you know, in the middle of your day. Maybe it's it's been a habit that you, you know, you tend to grab your phone and watch a Netflix or something on Netflix, right? So if that's been your habit, there is no need to worry because that can actually be taken care of in a nice and smart way. So all you have to do is to actually schedule or plan those distractions, right? So let's say you have the tendency to check your phone. So plan your day and put that time in, you know, that time when you reply to your WhatsApp messages, you can say, OK, at 12 to 1, I will attend to all messages, including emails. Right. So that helps you to take care of that desire. Now, your mind will know that that distraction is planned anyway. So there will be no hassle with you and you will find it much easier to actually do your work because you're expecting, you know, to do that kind of thing that should have been a distraction that you now you've planned it so it's easy to take care of. So that's number one way to actually deal with distractions. You know, anything else that, you know, you try to restrict yourself every time without planning those things, uh, you're only actually reinforcing the desire to get distracted. So that's very, very important. And the last point is quite basic, but it's really amazing. And that is take care of your body. So as simple as that might sound, many people don't do it, right? Your body produces the work. You, you know, if you sleep well, you know, you produce well, you know, if you do exercise, you, you stay awake and more alive, much more alive, right, during your work session. So that's very, very important. Take care of your body. You know, do exercise, eat well, you know. Um, sometimes we look for hacks and ways in which to increase productivity, and we call them hacks. But the things that we actually need to do are the things that are very common, right? Where does the power come from then? In the simple things, in the simplicity of those things, something as simple as doing exercise and looking after your body, resting, having good rest, probably six to seven hours, you know, as simple as that might sound, can actually skyrocket your productivity, right? So thank you very much. And I hope those points helped you somehow to make, uh, you know, to come up with ways in which you can actually change or improve your productivity. So don't forget to click the notifications bell so you're reminded of more videos like these, right? So thank you very much and I'll see you next time.